at the 2013 International CES, the world's largest annual innovation event. This show is record-breaking in all ways, with more than 1.9 million net square feet of exhibit space and 3,250 exhibitors showcasing the latest and greatest products across all technology categories. I'm here with Rudy from GFK, who is a global expert when it comes to technology trends, and that's why I've asked him to come in here today to kind of talk about trends we're seeing in the industry and maybe how they relate a little bit to what we're seeing at CES. Tablets, smartphones, the connected world, we, um, we're predicting that about 40 different netbooks will be displayed here at the show this year. What are you seeing in that area, Rudy? Yes, you're perfectly right. The show is here record-breaking in a lot of aspects. What you are seeing today on product innovation is quite outstanding. So a lot of things the industry was talking about during the last couple of years are now really becoming a reality. Mm -hmm. Smartphones, all these tablets, and of course all this way you can connect these devices and then the next step, of course, you have a connected environment, a connected ecosystem, mm -hmm. and you can link in toys, you can link in fitness products, you can link in whatever you want because people have smartphones, they have tablets, and they can use it. Right. And to that point, we are branding the show as the largest app event in the world because we're seeing apps come through and everything from, you know, able to tell you when your plant needs water, it sends you a little notification that I need to be, you know, watered or, um, digital health and fitness where our bodies are becoming kind of a, an input-output device for tracking, right? Apps is a great thing. Basically you have hardware and hardware of course you have global products that are looking quite similar across the world right. but the apps are making the product quite unique. It's fitting into your own world, it's fitting into your own needs and environment and so the apps are more or less creating a huge individualized mm -hmm. um, set of device and with this kind of apps, yeah, you can do whatever you want, whatever you like. And we are just in the beginning, so I personally expect there will be an app environment and ecosystem which is increasing from now on year by year mm -hmm. and will include a lot of new things right. which we are right now not even thinking about. And, and on that point, as we look to the future, do you have any predictions or insights into what the consumer is going to look for in the next generation? of technology advancements. You see it clearly coming from smartphone side, now moving to tablets, it's touch screen. Mm -hmm. So it's a real intuitive interaction with devices. With Windows 8, touch screen is moved to notebooks, is moving to all kind of technology devices. So I expect this new way of interacting with devices. Touch as well as voice will come of course, in addition to the existing interaction possibilities with mice and keyboard, this will create a quite new environment where you can use products in ways and places which we are currently not dreaming about. So I expect that a lot of technology is focusing on the outside area. Mm -hmm. As we were mentioning fitness, right? it's yes. not like you are sitting at home. So this old picture of this IT nerd sitting at home in front of a computer, this is a thing of the past. Right. IT technology is cool, people are using it in their daily life. The world, are. basically, yeah. yeah. And we're getting connected with Facebook and whatever social media pages. So it's creating a huge start into a new world of being connected, of being more or less quite close to all your friends, right. wherever they are in the world. Right. Oh, absolutely. Um, so we're hearing a lot of buzz this year about ultra high definition, 4K resolution, four times the, uh, the picture screen of standard HD. We've had, you know, it's been here the last couple years, but now we're actually seeing these products come to market. How do you think that's going to go over? We have at least in Germany a saying, a picture is saying more than a thousand words. We have that saying as well. That's good. <laughs> and this is where uh, this trend is perfectly fitting into our modern life, in our lifestyle of today. And of course, it's a logical development, and this will open a lot of new det details in terms of viewing, in terms of seeing. And of course, the complete TV industry, the movie industry, has a set of new options because you have possibilities people were not dreaming of a couple of years ago. Right, I've noticed it's a totally immersive experience when you, when you look at the ultra-high definition. You actually feel like you are in the picture. Yes, and so they don't have the challenge of 3D where you still have to wear glasses and right. it's a bit inconvenient or people are not so happy. It's nice, but you're not doing it day by day. And with this new technology, with this new high definition, 
um, standards. Of course, you are feeling like you are part of what you are watching, basically. Rudy, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing all of your insights for what we're seeing on the show floor and what we can look for towards the future of technology advancement.